Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself. And we're going to take a look at a car that uh, I think is really cool. And this is also the first car that I've ever gotten from Mini Champs. So this is a collaboration model between Mini Champs 64 and Tarmac Works. It is the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS in uh, kind of like a forest green metallic. And it's, uh, it's almost like a color shifting paint. It looks absolutely cool. So you can see on the front right there, you got Tarmac, Mini Champ 64 cars in there. It's got this nice acrylic box. And then on the top of the box, it has like a little Mini Champ sticker. On the back right here, you've got Mini Champs X Tarmac Works. And then on the back right here, you have uh, Mini Champs information. You've got, uh, I, I think Mini Champs is uh, a company by Paul's Model Art. And so that's going to be located in Germany. There's a P.O. box number for it right there. And then um, it's got this information right here. You know, it says Porsche 911 GT3 RS, Porsche Racing Green Metallic. Then it has some German stuff right there. Um, I believe I believe these li these models are licensed by Porsche. I don't see um, I don't see any way they wouldn't be especially if they're working with Tarmac Works to produce these because anything Tarmac Works touches is licensed. But I think it is a little bit weird that it doesn't say anything on the packaging about this being a licensed product. If anybody knows more about Mini Champs and can let me know why it doesn't have that on there, definitely drop that in the comments below because I am kind of curious about that. But either way, the car itself looks really nice. So pull off the acrylic. I did already take this off the base. If you look on the other side, it says Porsche 911 992 GT3 RS, Porsche Racing Green Metallic. This one is limited to one of 909, 999 pieces. And uh, I did take this off the base already. Like I said, I did some photographs with it on my Instagram. And uh, that's why the car is backwards on the plate. I uh, wasn't double checking when I put it back on. But uh, we actually are going to take this off of the base plate today. I figured why not. It's not really a super fragile model, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Just get it unscrewed. There we go. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen or heard anything about it, but the Car Lovers Diecast brand, based in China, is doing a monthly issue of um, like diecast magazines. And the first one they did, you guys have probably seen, it's the blue Inno 64 Nissan Skyline R34, but the next release is actually a like a raw finish Mini Champs Porsche 911. Just I think it's the same exact casting as this one right here. So I have that on pre-order. I usually don't pre-order stuff, but I did for that one, and I'm really excited to get that in too, so we can take a look at the magazine and whatnot. So first thing I will point out on this one, the base of these models are plastic. It says Mini Champs on the bottom along with what the car is, so that is good. It's got a decent amount of detail back here um, casted into this plastic. You can see it's got like some muffler detail back here. It's got like a rear diffuser, but uh, I wish the bases on these were metal. I'm not a big fan of plastic bases on cars, but uh, I guess it is what it is. For all you roller heads out there, the wheels on this do roll pretty well. You set it down and it uh, it actually does it actually does roll pretty well it's not gonna roll as good as like a mini GT or a Hot Wheels but the wheels are free turning and it's uh, pretty smooth so but anyway speaking about the wheels I guess we'll start off looking at the wheels they're really nice kind of like a, a silver finish I don't know if they're necessarily like silver metallic but they do look nice they've got a decent amount of detail in the center hub right there. You can actually see there are brake, de brake details on these. You can see the big rotor back there along with like a red caliper and that's going to be the same for the back as well. So the brake details on this do look really nice. I think that's one thing that really sets it apart from like a mini GT or something. But you can see on the side right here you've got some a silver stripe with GT3 RS going across the door. Um, a little bit of an air vent on top of the front wheel right here, and then a little bit of uh, black plastic behind the wheel. I think that's supposed to be like an air vent or something. And there's also another air vent in front of the rear wheel right here. So the details on the side look really nice, especially with the wheels and everything. The paint on this, like I said, is absolutely beautiful. It's set, They say racing green metallic. But you can see when I have it in this light right here, it's actually a blue color. So it actually looks like the uh, 
it actually looks pretty similar to the Mini GT color shifting paint that they do, the magic green color that they have. The same color that they also did on the Kaido House R34. So looks really nice. On camera, it looks a lot more blue than it does in person right now because I'm looking at it, it looks forest green. But on camera, it's a, it's a pretty bright like teal blue color. So it's pretty cool. You can see all the metal flake in the paint right there. There's all kinds of different shades of greens and blues and stuff. So the paint on this one's really amazing. I'm glad I picked it up. But uh, going around to the back, you have GT3 on the license plate. The license plate is color matched with the body paint. You've got Porsche GT3 RS right there. Nice brake light that goes all the way across. Those are in acrylic inserted. And then you've got plastic back here where the license plate and the exhaust are. Two exhaust tips right there. And then if you look at the spoiler, the spoiler is really detailed on this one. So you've got a black plastic piece that goes across the back. And there's actually an air gap in between the uh, the two wing pieces on this thing. So this one right here is in that same body color, but the bl the back one is uh, just black plastic, but it is really nice. The ends on the wing are really cool. And I was messing with it and I actually think that the, su the wing supports are photo etched metal. So you can see there's like a gap in the support right there. It makes it look pretty accurate in my opinion, but I actually think it's metal because it's really sturdy and it doesn't have a lot of like wiggle room. So that's cool. I would like to see more metal supports for wings on some of these models. I think it's, uh, I think it adds a nice bit of rigidity to it and you can actually be, able, you can actually cast more details into the metal than you can with plastic, which I think is really nice. Um, you can see on the back right here, it's got like a little bit of venting where the spoiler is, or maybe that's not venting, but it looks like venting. And then it's got this little like ducktail wing on the back of the car as well, which I think is accurate to the real thing. Going around to the roof, you can see like there's some nice body lines right there. And then there's also like some molded black plastic pieces on the top right there. They kind of look like little uh, fins. Not exactly sure what the purpose of those are for, but they are there and they do look all right. This side of the car is going to be exactly the same as the other side. No real differences that I can see. And then if you work your way around to the front, you've got the really nice Porsche badge right on the center of the hood right there. The acrylic headlights look really nice. They are clear. You can see nice details back behind the lenses. You've got venting on the roof right here. Very nice like uh, mesh venting detail. And then there's like some bigger plastic pieces on the side as well. Then you've got your front... Um, mesh right there which is going to feed air through these vents on the hood and then you've got a little bit of a silver accent right here i don't know if the, that's like turn signals or fog lights or daytime running lights or whatever but they do look nice as well in front of the front wheels you're going to have another black plastic piece i think that's supposed to be another vent and uh overall i think this car looks really nice the only problem that I have with these mini champs though is uh, the bases are plastic. And since the bases are plastic, that causes the whole like back bumper and front bumper to be plastic as well, which I guess isn't, uh, I guess that's pretty much what all companies would do, but it would be really nice to see mini champs do metal bases. I don't think it'd be that hard for them. And it would add a lot of, uh, it would add more weight to the model, which would just make it feel higher quality, first of all. But uh, it would just make it look nicer, in my opinion. But yeah, that is the Mini Champs Porsche 911 GT3 RS in Porsche Racing Green Metallic. It's kind of like a color shifting paint, and it looks pretty dang nice, if you ask me. But anyways, what do you guys think of Mini Champs? Do you guys have anything by them? Let me know in the comments. I do have... Uh, like I said, I have the magazine coming, and then I think I have one other Mini Champs coming as well. I think it's a 963 or 965. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this, and we will see you guys in the next video.